Jamie Carragher makes massive prediction about Man United ace Kobe Mainu, as Sir Jim Ratcliffe means business as expert communicator set for key Man United role. Jamie Carragher believes we know for a fact that Manchester United midfielder Kobe Mainu will be included in England's Euro 2024 squad. The 18-year-old impressed during the Three Lions international friendlies against Brazil and Belgium during the March international break. Mainu came on as a substitute against the Brazilians and started the fixture on Tuesday evening against Belgium. It has been a meteoric rise for the young midfielder who has made just 20 senior appearances in all competitions for United. He was originally called up to Lee Carsley's England under-21 squad before being picked to join Gareth Southgate's senior team. And former England international and Liverpool defender Carragher is certain that Mainu will be going to this summer's European Championships in Germany. He believes the only question is whether the young star will play. The thing I loved about last night, I was watching people talk before the game. And there's this thing that has been building that he's this holding midfield player, he told the overlap. I don't really see it. He looks like some that dribble and runs forward. I don't actually think he is that because there's talk that United need a holding midfield player and Case Miro might move in. Last night, that thing where he just turned and he running at people centrally, and he's all over the pitch. I thought that performance last night was sensational. Sometimes you look at a young player, feels like it happens every tournament. Someone really young comes out of nowhere, whether it was Rooney, Michael Owen, Bellingham a couple of years ago. We know for a fact this kid is on the plane now on the back of last night, and you're actually looking at that first 11. You don't want to get carried away on one game but because there's no options in central midfield really. He's definitely going, it's just whether he plays. Former United captain Gary Neville added, the one thing in all of those players, Michael Owen, Jude Bellingham, is temperament. His first three games were I think away at Anfield, St. James Park and Goodison Park. You can't play at those grounds sometimes when you've got 50 games without having real difficulties, nervous, anxious, going under. In the first three games, it felt like he was at home. You mentioned that three in midfield of Rice, Bellingham and Mainu. It felt like, for the first time, I'm not going to say ever, it felt like I was watching a Portuguese or Brazilian midfield in the way they were rotating. In other news, Sir Jim Ratcliffe means business as expert communicator set for key Man United role. Manchester United are reportedly set to appoint Matt Johnson as the club's new head of women's football is Sir Jim Ratcliffe, and Ineo's structural overhaul accelerates. Johnson is expected to take the role on an interim basis while United new co-owners complete a review of football operations. In February, the Red Devils confirmed that Polly Bancroft, the current head of women's football, would be leaving at the end of the season. Bancroft has been appointed chief executive of League Two outfit Grimsby Town, leaving one of the most important roles on the women's side of the club vacant. Ratcliffe has insisted that Ineo's upheaval will spark change in the men's, women's, and youth departments, attempting to streamline all operations in M16. According to the Mail, Johnson will be Ratcliffe's first major hire for United's women's team, temporarily replacing Bancroft at the helm. Johnson currently works as the Manchester United Foundation's operations director after spending five years as performance director for the Girls' Talent Club. He was previously the technical director of Blackburn Rovers Girls Center of Excellence and is highly rated for his work with young players. The report adds that those in power before Ratcliffe selected Johnson due to his elite communication skills and his ability to connect the women's youth ranks with the first team. It's claimed he will initially accept the role for six months, affording United time to weigh up their long-term model for the women's project. Ratcliffe has emphasized his determination to restore the glory days beyond solely the men's team, which often overshadows other aspects of the club due to its magnitude. I think any team that wears that Manchester United badge on their shirt is important to the club because they're wearing the badge and they need to be successful in winning. So they're all important components of the club, Ratcliffe explained after securing a 27.7% stake. Johnson's new role will involve overseeing the strategic direction, operations and performance of United's women's first team and academy. On a day-to-day -day basis, he will be a central figure in decision-making, reporting to United Deputy Football Director Andy O'Boyle and working closely with manager Mark Skinner. Bancroft has been United's head of football since October 2022, when the club created the role for her after she left Brighton and Hove Albion, where she was general manager. But Johnson's appointment is the first bit of movement in a wide-scale overhaul as Ratcliffe aims to direct United towards the summit of world football on all fronts. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.